my name is Nathan from Growing with Nathan. Let's get right into this hot tip. Hello my friends. For this video, we're going to take a quick look at the pump motor. I'm going to explain how it works, how to take it apart, and how to put it back together. Basic Aero Garden pump motor. This is what you'll need for today's project. Some distilled vinegar first. Some Q-tips. Uh. A prying tool. I happen to use a staple remover. A pair of needle nose if needed. We'll start with the pump motor. The knob in the front increases and decreases the amount of volume of water that is pumped. So turn, turning it to the left reduces. Turning it to the right increases. I'll show you how that works in a second. All right. Let's take this apart. Carefully pry. Just like that. All right. Once you've taken the front cover off, you'll see where the control knob has a diverter on it. As you turn the diverter, that adjusts the water volume of mouth how much it gets pulled into the pump. I usually keep it on max, just so I know I have a lot of water flow. Woo! All right, continue in here. You've got your pump assembly, and we can pull that off. That's dirty. This is your volute. What's this is your front cover. What does the volute do? A volute does, what a volute does is as the water gets moved by these impellers, it goes in a circle around this, having it increase pressure as it comes up your tube that feeds your grow plate. As you can see, this has never been cleaned. This is off the farm that I've used. This is your iron core and your impeller in one piece. And then you have your impeller rod. Very, very important you do not lose your impeller rod. Here's your impeller with your, uh, your metal core and your pup. Inside is your windings that cause your impeller to spin. Um, is there any more pouch that you could open? Yes, sir. Good question. You can open the back. Now, uh, again, I haven't done this, so I do not know how it looks, but very careful. Go ahead. And look at that. That's, that's all the parts. So all that is is covers the electronic parts after they put the motor in there. That way it can remain submerged underwater. But yeah, as you can see, algae does grow into those spots. Thank you, Nathan. So if you could is please... Is there a better place? No, sir. That is everything that is inside this pump. Let so me start playing. You could drop those right inside our tub of vinegar. Go, now go we gadget. Need another right there. Now we need another one. All right, so please take this Q-tip, Nathan, Q -tip. and dip it in the vinegar, and right where my hand is, no, no, nice and slow, nice and slow. There you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean inside here, and we're just going to clean this with vinegar, just like so. Also, grab another brush. The inside of this definitely needs a cream. Yep, that's what the Q-tips are for. That inside definitely needed a clean. Yeah. That inside piece. Yeah. What and, is this called? Do you remember like, what this is called? Starts with a V. Volute. Oh, volute. Volute. Yes. Um, and how does it work? By centrifugal force. Um, right? When you put this on in there, in there, it comes out on the other side. Yep. And that's where the water goes up to feed the plants. And it goes up and then drops down in those holes. From the grow plate, right? Yeah. That that then. Well, do you do you know what it also does, Nathan? What? It also aerates the water. 
What does that mean? It adds oxygen in the water. So when it drips from the grow plate down into the reservoir, that amount of splash causes it to absorb air molecules or air molecules are added to the water giving that what that's the special key ingredient to the, how this works you did a really good job so we have your back cover back cover front cover front cover your volute volute your impeller rod impeller rod and your impeller and your impeller and, and your pump pump first thing you do is your impeller and your impeller rod you put it in the back through the back now, not all pieces will have this. Sometimes that will be still inside. Don't worry. Slide it in. Then you take your volute and you carefully make sure you center it with your impeller rod. Push it in. Front cover firmly over. And your back cover complete. Second to make sure this is correct. And it should snap in there. Like that. Yep, that's how it okay. snaps. Alright. Impeller, pedal rod, flat cover, volute. Volute. And there's the back. And that's your pump motor. There's the back. Cover and the back cover and then you have your and then you have your pump motor I hope you enjoyed the hot tip and I hope you enjoyed the hot tip and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> <laughs>